And my name is Lily Fat. Today we're going to highlight a remake on a healthy breakfast sandwich. Statistics show that Canadians have no more than about two to three minutes to eat breakfast in the morning. So we're going to make a nutritious, quick and easy breakfast sandwich for you to eat at home or on the go. So as you can see here, we have a drive through egg breakfast sandwich. Now this sandwich is low in fiber high in sodium and high in saturated fat. That's right. So by making it at home, you're already going to boost the, nut the nutrition of it. Absolutely. So we have a whole grain English muffin right here, and you can pick this up at your local grocery store. What you want to make sure is per serving of your English muffin, you want to be looking for at least three grams of fiber. Mm -hmm. So let's throw these in the toaster to get toasting before we cook our eggs. Perfect. And then what you want to do is I'm just going to crack open my egg here on the frying pan and I have a non-stick frying pan over here and Nikki is actually going to show you how to do some eggs in the microwave. So if you don't want to get the pan out in the morning, I don't blame you. If you have a little bit more time, you can. You can opt for the microwave for quick and convenient use. Yeah, this is just a microwave egg canister. You find it at most grocery stores. So I'm just going to crack two eggs in while Aletha does hers. All right, so mine's already cooking here. I'm going to flip it soon. So most eggs uh, cooked in the microwave take about a minute, depending on your microwave. So you might want to adjust accordingly. And I like to add a little bit of dill in my egg. Taste preference. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. When buying bread and bread products, you want to look for at least three grams of fiber per serving. And you want to make sure on the nutrition label or somewhere on the product it says 100% whole wheat or 100% whole grain. On the ingredient list, if you see the words enriched, it's actually a white flour with bran and other fiber components added to it. So it's not your best bet. This one's 100% whole grain. It has three grams of fiber per serving. I think this one's great. Excellent. Let's off with that one. So my egg has been on the burner for about a minute or so, and it's almost done. And Nikki just finished microwaving her egg. In less than a minute, she's left with this product right here. Perfect. So traditionally for an egg breakfast sandwich, you use cheese. And the type of cheese that's most commonly found in restaurants, etc., is usually a processed cheese. Using a hard cheese is going to decrease the amount of sodium you're getting in your diet, as well as increasing the amount of protein found in the cheese. So your better bet is to go with a hard cheese. Now if you find cutting off the block a little bit difficult in terms of portion control, or even just for convenience on a sandwich or an egg breakfast sandwich, you can find pre-sliced hard cheeses. And that's perfect. That's super easy in the morning just to grab and put on your breakfast sandwich. Now when you're looking for a cheese, you want to opt for cheeses that are, are a milk fat of 20% or less. So that milk fat is an, also indicative of the amount of saturated fat that's present in that cheese. Saturated fat is a hard fat and it can cause your cholesterol to go up. So again, 20% milk fat or lower. So my egg is done as well. So we're just going to layer the cheese onto the English muffin. I'm going to slide my egg on top. As you can see, we have a little bit of mayo here. I like mayo, so I'm going to spread some on my egg breakfast sandwich. And I like mine just to be plain. And it's okay to have a little bit of fat in your diet. Two to three tablespoons or less is considered to be a healthy part of eating. So as you can see, this breakfast sandwich took us no time at all. And it looks great. 
Let's take a bite and try our product. Sure. Mmm. It tastes really fresh, not processed. Mm -mm. I taste the flavor of dill in my egg sandwich because I put a little bit of dill in mine. Super easy. You can take this and go instead of opting for a drive through egg breakfast sandwich. So much more nutrition, more protein, less fat, more fiber. It's going to make you feel full longer. Mm -hmm.